Lego started off as a small wooden toy manufacturer in the Danish town of Billund. The word Lego is derived from the Danish for play well. But it wasn't until after World War II and the invention of plastic injection molding and its automatic binding bricks that the modern Lego was born. Today, it's one of the world's leading toy manufacturers with global sales totaling $5.2 billion in 2015. At the center of the business remain sales of Lego bricks, with sets tied to successful movie franchises such as the Star Wars films among the leading sellers. But the company is turning movie maker itself, partnering with Warner Brothers for the Lego movie back in 2014. That movie proved to be a huge global hit with a number of sequels to follow. You can't spend the rest of your life alone, dressed in black and staying up all night. Good night, Alfred. Sir, it's morning. It is a TV producer too, with the shows such as Ninjago and Lego Friends developed in-house. It's also devised new digital products, such as LEGO Dimensions and LEGO Nexo Knights, which combine video gaming with real bricks. But it could have all been different. Back in 2003 and 2004, LEGO announced massive losses of more than $400 million with the company on the brink. The new CEO, Jan de Knutstab, though, set off restructuring. The company slashing thousands of jobs, dropping hundreds of parts and products, and selling off a 70% stake in its Legoland theme park. He said the company had over-diversified, but now the company says it's different, with the finances in much better shape. But can Lego avoid the mistakes of the past, and where does it go next? That's all coming up on Marketing Media Money. We're now joined by Julia Golden, Chief Marketing Officer at LEGO. Thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate your time. Whenever we talk about LEGO at CBC, I'm always really surprised and fascinated about the fact that kids still play with LEGO despite the dominance of smartphones and tablets. Why is that, you think? I believe that what's in LEGO is a very enduring and very simple idea. But it's an idea that gives kids tremendous number of possibilities, unlimited possibilities to express their creativity, their imagination, and to make something. So um, every year we come up with something new for them, something that entices them, something that makes things exciting for them. But what I see when I see kids engaging with Lego is exactly that kind of undescribable experience that is really engaging for them. They love to build. Um, and at the same time develop so many different other facets. Their ability mm -hmm. to express themselves, their ability to problem solve, their ability to break something and put it back together. And it's an incredible how much you can do because six of these bricks can come up with 915 million different combinations. Wow. So it's just, <laughs> so it's just amazing what they can do with Lego. And I think the endurance of that is what actually makes it continue to be so important to their life. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.